Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and another color challenge video. The next most requested color was green and I'm here to deliver, so today we'll be repainting a doll using all my green art supplies. In the challenge I include what I would typically use to repaint a doll, plus glitters and rhinestones, which I will sometimes use. I actually had a lot of green art supplies and a lot of different tones, which is a really good thing for this challenge. So among them I have my watercolor pencils, then my acrylic paints and a single bottle of alcohol ink, my chalk pastels and a single glittery mica powder, some different sizes of glitter and some green rhinestones. I also have some acrylic yarn to use for doll hair. And finally, I also have a bit of white acrylic paint, which I will be using just for the whites of the eyes and the highlight, that's all. And here's a quick swatch test so you guys can see the different tones. And I was pretty lucky that I had a pretty good range going from a slightly more yellowish green to something with a slight blue tint to it. So that was actually a good thing. A few of you who requested green also requested that I do a guide on for this one. So I decided to try that out, even though that's so outside my comfort zone. So for this one, I'll be using this secondhand Monster High doll. And I'm not going to say his first name because I can't say it right. But his name is Gorgon. His surname because he's supposed to be Medusa's son. And I thought he would fit really well for the green theme. Um, so we could just kind of go with what he was supposed to be born with. I had already removed his face to check out some staining he had on his face to see how bad it actually was. And I hopefully can cover it. And he also has this almost helmet hair, <laughs> which I pulled off. And then I primed him with Mr. Superclear so we could get going. As I said, doing guy dolls or characters, whatever, is really outside my comfort zone. And I've really only done a few. And at this point, I'm just so accustomed to doing female characters and, you know, I can I can freehand a female character. I don't have to look at a picture just to do, you know, a female doll because you can do something that's relatively cute and you make it look feminine. But doing a guy is just different because I'm just afraid of making him look like a woman on accident because I'm used to those features. So I find that a little intimidating. So for this one, I, I thought it was good to have a direct inspiration since, you know, I was going for the Gorgon look. So I had tried to make his eyes pretty sharp. I wasn't going for any type of realistic look for this. I tried to make his eyes look pretty sharp and also make him look a little mean because then he wouldn't just accidentally end up looking cute. I don't know if I'm the only one who feels like this, but even if I were to draw a person, I would gravitate to drawing a woman. I find that easier. And if I have to draw a man, it just end all, it ends up all messed up because I feel you can't really, you know, make defined lips on a man if you're trying to draw it, because then it just ends up looking like a woman wearing lipstick and you can't do too much shading around the eyes, then it looks like makeup. And it might just be me who's terrible at art, I'm not gonna deny that. But I feel that this it was sort of insecurity just comes into my dolls as well, because I'm like, how can I shade his lips without them looking like overly done? And I only had green to shade, so I decided to just give him an overall green tone, because mid, mid, you know, it really fit with this Gorgon theme and him being part snake. So I just went all in all over the face, but I was still thinking, oh, how much can I shade around the eyes? Because it's not supposed to look like he's actually wearing any makeup. It's supposed to just look part of his skin tone. How do you actually do that? Um, so yeah, I have a lot, I have a lot of, of, of insecure thoughts about doing guy dolls, just because I'm inexperienced and, you know, practice makes perfect. And that is so true. I truly recommend practicing whatever you feel insecure in when it comes to art and stuff like that. But I also just recognize how daunting and intimidating it is when you've done one thing. For me, instance, doing a lot of female characters on dolls and you feel at home and safe there and kind of having to start over and then trying to male dolls. And then I wish I had just done, you know, the two side by side, had done equal amount of, you know, male characters and female characters and then I wouldn't have this problem but I just naturally gravitate to what the female characters and it's what my main interest is. And also it's actually pretty hard to get proper, you know, male dolls 
because there's just not at all that many to choose from compared to the female doll. So the market really has a say in that as well. I did struggle a little bit with shading because even though I had a chalk pastel that looked pretty dark, once you applied it, it wasn't that dark. So when I tried to, for instance, shade the whites of the eyes with it, it came out pretty light still. So I ended up having to layer some pencil in that area as well to define it a little more, which I usually don't, but I felt it just, you know, wasn't cutting it. So I had to, you know, mix up my materials a little bit rather than what I usually do. And I also find that you can actually use pencils to add a little more harsh shading if you very gently apply the pencil and actually use a brush with nothing on it you can actually smudge the edges a little bit at least with the sealer i use I use the lightest of my pastel colors to bring in a bit of greenish yellow tone to the entire face. And I also used one of the lightest, well, the lightest, again, slightly yellowish green to be a bit of a highlight around the face. Again, I was a little cautious of doing it, but I did do like under the eyebrows to give them a little lift on the eyelids to make them stand out a bit and generally around the face to try to bring out some features and just make it look, you know, not flat. Eyelashes is another point where I'm just completely lost when it comes to male dolls because in real life a lot of guys has really great eyelashes. My boyfriend has long pitch black eyelashes but if I try to paint on long lush eyelashes on a guy I feel it brings a feminine character which, which just doesn't make sense at all because a guy can have really good eyelashes in real life without looking feminine so I just don't know how to do it right. So. I just did, you know, like an eyeliner for the top, contributing to this almost snake look. And I did very faint pencil lines for bottom lashes, but you can barely tell they're there. And I was just too afraid to add more because I was just like, no, no, I'm just not risking it. I used the alcohol ink at the edges or corners of his mouth, trying to deepen the smile a little bit, but I honestly felt it was a little too... Well, I know it's not water, but it felt watery. Even though I've used alcohol inks before on my dolls, with good success, but those were metallic, where this one just felt a little thinner. So I didn't enjoy that very much, but I did use it. I built up a few layers going between the soft pastel in order to shade and also using a bit of the pencil and smudging out the edges like I mentioned before. And I had to do this quite a few time, you know, times to get definition. And if I had, you know, had a whole color range and had to do this doll again, I would probably have gone in with black really to darken some areas because that would just, you know, have made it a little easier. But because I only had to work with, you know, green, I just had to build up the layers a lot more and then I'll be adding on glitter on top afterwards. In 
In some of the final steps, I added the lower lashes very faintly, like I mentioned before, and also went in with white acrylic paint again to add the highlights of the eyes, and also used a bit of watered down acrylic paint to add some highlights around the face, just faintly to bring them out a bit more. And I also spread a bit of the shimmery mica powder pretty much all over the face, just for a magical shimmer, because when the world gives you shimmer, why not? And then I sealed the face in for the final time. I also shaded his upper body and arms just to blend into the face. I didn't want to shade the entire body going, you know, completely green, so I just faded it out a little bit. And now onto the hair. For some reason, ever since I started using acrylic yarn to brush out and use for doll hair, I've just really wanted to make a doll where I could use the actual yarn as it is to make dreadlocks. Don't know why, <laughs> but I do want to. So I decided this was the one. And since he already had this sort of helmet hair from before, his scalp was just a little bit lower than the level of his face. So I had to do something there to, you know, even out so he didn't just have a hole in his head. So I laid the dreads almost going like corn, what is it called, corn root braids along his head on the sides. And then I glued the strands on directly going out from the top of his head and almost like a mohawk, which was kind of like what the doll had in the beginning. Next, uh, I glued on some glitter on the scales he already had on his arm to emphasize them. Then I added a bit of rhinestones to his chest because no particular reason, just because. And then I used some of the hexagon glitters to glue onto his temples because they looked again a little scaly and I let them fade into his hair. And as the final touch, I glazed his eyes. And here he is all done. Again, out of my comfort zone, but I'm pretty happy with him. But when I look at him, his expression and his hair kind of reminds me of the band Milli Vanilli, if any of you guys are old enough to know who they are, but yeah. If you guys are still enjoying these challenges, do give me a like and leave your request for the next color in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in a new video real soon. Bye!